My guests tonight are Julian Clary, Dana International, and Ivana. Together at last. <laughs> You ask Ivana, because you were nipping at the bit to ask her what you wanted to ask her. Didn't you in the dress room said you had questions? What did you at the moment? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce me to Donald. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's easy. Do you know who uh, she is? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, did you, you see you her? You, yes, you had a, you had a, a, a fabulous singer. And Thank you. Just you. Won, yeah, you just, won, you just won something. You just won some award. Uh, I did three times something. Something. <laughs> See? Which is a little yeah. math, but mm -hmm. it put her on the map. We all had to start at a kind of level where now you look back and go, oh my <laughs> God, did I do that? Because <laughs> otherwise you don't get this far, do you? I had to get noticed. You had to get noticed. Mm -hmm. How did you get noticed? I was very loud and obnoxious. Oh. And they almost well, eliminated it does it me. Anytime, right? What? Yeah, that definitely does it any time. Well, loud ex <laughs> except <laughs> now, loud and obnoxious <laughs> wouldn't work at all. Mm -hmm. But I refined it and refined it. Mm -hmm. Learn from me, Ivana. Right. Learn from me. Yeah, I, I can understand it. How did you? I know we, we know how she <laughs> started. How did you start, Ivana? I mean, did you start when you were a little girl and you were on the um, mm -hmm. ski team? Were you a cruder version of what you are now, sort of mentally? Uh, I think I was. Uh, I was just very determined. Very competitive, which you have to be downhill skier. Yeah, you have to have a, you have to have a courage. You have to have a discipline. Uh, you have to know what you want. You Did you to, want to be? You, happy you or have beautiful? to. Beautiful? You have to. No, not beautiful. No, no, no. As a, as a sport person, you don't need to be beautiful at all. You just have to be. In, to Sometimes your face helps you a lot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the not way as you a look skier, it helps Dana. You. I mean, no, if no, you're no, going was, down yeah. really quickly, nobody can catch you. Honey, mm -hmm. you go down 80 miles an hour on two wood sticks. At that time, it was wood. Uh, you know, you cannot count on mama, papa, or your boyfriend or anybody. You have to count on yourself. And that's called confidence, and that confidence goes with you through the life. And this is what I find. Ivana, really did you me. do the flags? Did you do the slalom? Oh, absolutely. I did slalom, I did giant, and I did downhill. Frankly, I was always too bored with slalom because it, I was always too tall, and it's too much work. So I'm totally crazy. I like the speed. So I was always a one. So fast. you can take pain. I can. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, almost everything pain. in my body. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But the, but the thing is. You may not know this, but I did my research, Julian, is that you went to a, it was communist, obviously it was Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a com communist training camp? Well, it is, you know, it is so serious. You have no idea. I mean... Are you picked as a child? Somebody comes to the school and goes, you? Well, uh, no, you have to prove yourself, and then they choose it's you, six. and then they train you. I it's was about six, uh, six years old when I won. <laughs> <laughs> and in the com and when, when it's communistic, is it kind of, is it really like... Um, you know, under it the was, debate, it, it was all. It, it, it was like a like a camp, like a, boot like, camp. A, like a Nazi camp. Honestly, you know, we went and in the morning, six o'clock, the, the whistle. We have a training. This and if we would even as much as look at the beer or glass of wine or anything, we would be expelled. There was no sex at all because you know wow. the girls. I mean, I, I, I mean, honestly, uh -huh. I mean the girls like 15, 16, 17. They're not supposed to have sex to start with, but forget it, because what happens that the girls they would go and think about the boys, they would lose concentration. So they were splitting us totally, like a different floors, different, you know, different uh, ski centers. <laughs> I mean, they're not allowed to come close to the boys. And so that was tough. Was there much lesbian activity? <laughs> I was going to say. No, not at all. That was not known at the time. Communists uh -huh. really didn't no, that encourage was not known that. At all. No, it was something which we didn't even think about. And when you weren't going downhill, did you think, I have to get out of here? Um, I was definitely thinking about it. Yeah. Because you know what happens, first minute when they take you. So when you live in the country, you don't know that there's a better life somewhere else. When they take you out Did you of see that, television? And I would go, well, we saw the television, but it was always very center. You know, it was always, you know, the programs we would see. About tractors. Whatever it is. But once, you know, they, they let you go for races outside. You know, I would go to, to Switzerland and I would go to Austria, I would go to France. They say, hey, you have you know, bigger cars and better homes and people have strawberries and cherries middle of the winter. So you know, you suddenly say, hey, there is a better life somewhere else. Well, I mean, you would never picture when you were a little girl that someday you would become this. Well, you know, uh, she no, always wanted not it. at all, not at all. No. Did you want that to be this, 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 when you... Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. What did you, what was your image when you were a little boy? I was very shy and just thinking about my studying and to make my mother feel okay and good grades and all this bullshit and 
the minute I was introduced into the gay societies in, in Tel Aviv, it's like I opened my eyes and I discovered the, the club world and boys and girls and having fun. And since then, I was just, I'm just looking for fun. Oh, that's snazzy. <laughs> that's never happened. That's really classy, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I mean, wait, it's the BBC. Do you know you try to create an atmosphere and then somebody's just doing some plumbing next door? Don't you think that's unusual for somebody to go from small boy shot to this kind of, I mean, she's, do you think she's gorgeous? Gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks. Do you model yourself on you or do you model yourself on you? Do you know, I always wonder, how do you know how to behave? I, I don't behave as girly as you do. How do you know how to behave like that? It's is this a stupid question, Julia? No. You don't study. I was wondering it. if you moved your eyeshadow onto her, that would be kind of coordination. Yeah. And she moved her eyeshadow onto her. We can do that in the morphing, in the editing. I can do that. Well, you don't choose. You know, I can speak only for myself, and I don't care what happens or what will happen, as long as I'm having fun. Because yeah, you know, how do you we're all going to die, and it's very important for us to enjoy our lives. You know, not to work too much, not to worry too much, and. That's what I'm doing. You have a, and you too, you have a beautiful way of kind of moving your body, and you too, that I never did. I didn't learn how to kind of um, walk with elegance. That's right now you're having No, I'm gorgeous at the table, but in my real life, you know, I really, it's, I'm not. Believe it's me, not it's not more comfortable to what? Me, to behave like yourself and. Because you're always take. in character, aren't you, Ivana? I don't know, you know, I, I think you just either have it or you don't, as you say. And it's something that you cannot really, you can, you, if you really watch yourself and if you practice and if you think about it, then of course you can change certain movements and how you speak, how you, you know, what yeah. you do. But, but on the end of the day, you want to be yourself. And that's you work in you front of a mirror? Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> what about you? I mean, you <laughs> certainly invented yourself. Mm. But you weren't, I mean, they, were you tortured as a kid in school? Were you called a poof? I was, yes. Yeah. But I kind of um, learned to love it. Yeah. It gave you mean us through the pain there would be pleasure? Well, it gave you a kind of celebrity status that uh, you wouldn't otherwise have had. I oh, excuse me for a minute. You're going on? Are I'll, you be, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> right, let's go on. We can go without him. Yeah, no, I'm just, can take I'm, just, I'm just worried about that. Yeah. Nobody will know that he's missing. No, Nobody will know he's missing. Exactly. She understands okay. how television works. Yeah. But how did you meet Donald? We want to know how she met Donald, don't we? <laughs> yeah. are, you sick of asking, if you, are you sick of answering this question? Uh, you know, I have been asked a million times, but you know, one more Try time. Try to answer it in an unusual way. But it was very easy. It was during the Olympic Games in Montreal. And at the evening, the girls, they say, Vanna, we have to go. We have to go to Maxwell's Plum, which was a I know very Maxwell's famous, Plum, yeah. famous, famous Why restaurant. Why do we have to go to Maxwell's yeah. Plum? They said, because it was hot and it was in yeah. and everybody wanted to go there. I said, girls, I'm going nowhere. I'm going to stay. I'm going to rest. I'm going to sleep. I'm not going anywhere. They, they eventually said, Ivana, you must go. So we went. And of course, the place was packed. We did not call for reservation. So we're standing and we're waiting for our table. And we are by the bar, which is embarrassing to start with. I don't like that. And, and suddenly I did get like a tap on my shoulder, which I don't like, period. <laughs> I turn around and there's this gentleman and he said, well, my name, name is Donald Trump and I can see the girls, you have a problem to getting a table. I know the owner, can I get you a table? So I turned to my friends and I said, there's a good news and there's a bad news. I said, Ivana, what is the good news? I said, well, good news is that we're going to get a table. What is the bad news? I said, bad news, the guy is going to join us. <laughs> <laughs> was he not good looking? And he was great looking, he was fabulous, but I don't, I don't like to sit down for the dinner, you know, with the perfectly, a perfect stranger. So I didn't like I don't mind idea. that. <laughs> you don't mind that. I don't like that. Well, Donald, has Donald, Donald Trump had tapped her on the shoulder and said, can, uh, this is at a kind of nightclub mm -hmm. food This thing. is where you met. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what was his first line to you? Uh, what was the first line? Yeah. Can I get you a table? <laughs> Second, I said, offer it accepted. <laughs> no. Offer was accepted. It was either having table or sitting there Did for two hours. Did you know who he was? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. And did you like the look of him straight yeah. away? Yeah. He was a you know, good, good looking all American boy. He was quick, he was sharp. Uh, yes, definitely. How long ago was this? That is now about 18 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> long time ago. What a thing, though. Do you know it's like winning the pools in a way? Yeah. I mean, because nobody knew the man. Yeah. What? Nobody knew the man. He was working. He was working for his father at the time, and he was not what he is now. What, what he did he have a, then? Well, he was working for his father at the time for about fifty thousand dollars a year, which was a good salary. Not bad for you a know, Czechoslovakian. Right. You know, no, no, no. It was him. It you, was, it I was mean. American. No, I was not. Work, he was working for his father. Yeah. For about fifty thousand dollars a year. Not bad. How, how long did it take you to find that out? Um, <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't really care. I mean, I mean were, you, were you playing hard to get when he was sort of sitting yes. there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Why? Because I'm hard to get. I did he pursue so. you? Oh, sure. I did hit and hop. And <laughs> what? Flowers? Chocolate? Uh, cars? Both. Yeah. <laughs> No mm -hmm. cash, no. Yeah, flowers, oh, flowers and, uh, and uh, nice notes and letters and uh, stuff like that. Nice. Just a normal... I mean, it is unbelievable. Wasn't that thrilling? I mean, did you s sort of scream at night and go, hurrah, we're rich? Uh, not, not really. You know, sometimes I was... Um, you know, oh, come on, Ivana. You didn't... You <laughs> no, just... No, no, no. Sometimes, I, honestly, I would go and I would go walk through the city, New York City, and I would look at the building and say, you know what, that building's called Trump Tower. Sometimes, like five years later, it hits you. You know what? You build it. Would you love that, some man to sweep into your life? and say, I'll take care, well, I don't know if he said I'll take care of you, but certainly give you the opportunity where you let the, opposite, you know, the other partner take care of you. I don't, not, not really. I quite like the idea of kind of working with someone on something. It would certainly might be my girlhood fantasy. I mean, because I was... Well, that's what you do now, because your, your husband directs, doesn't he? <laughs> he was directing. I fired him. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> He's gone now. But you have to be very careful, because I, I tell you, I have seen the marriage is when the people work together and it does not work. It happened to me two times and I will never do it again. Do you think, that, learned, do you think that's that. what it happened yes. with you and Donald? Definitely. Really? Definitely. Is that you could yeah. never switch off the business? Because uh, I would go, I would go to Atlantic City, around the casinos during the day, you know, fly on the helicopter back to New York every day, uh, come back at 7 o'clock and we would go at 8 o'clock and say, what happened? And which player did get the house yeah. today? And this one, it's and, not sexy. and it was just on and on and on and we had no time for romance. But you yeah. can't always talk about romance forever in a marriage. No, no, not always. You do serious things, but, you know. A lot of people run out of things to but say. But you, you cannot work 24 hours a day. You want to go and you want to talk, let's say, you want to go and go to opera, you want to go and you want to see, you know, you go to go to concert or you go with the friends. You don't want to talk to shop. We were talking shop all the time because you know, we were building this empire. There was a lot of money in stake. Did because, you divorce you know, him because of Marla Maples? Of course. I mean, of course. And because, you know, because of the trust. When the trust is broken. You had no idea you know? he was being unfaithful? No. Get a but you had the last laugh on that one, didn't you? I eh, well, couldn't happen to nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, what comes? Uh, you know, I don't wish anybody anything. You know, no, honestly, I know. But what is what is it that that if you like that, you know, what what they say? What comes around goes what around. What comes around goes around. I know, and that's simple as that. Uh, I believe yeah, that the, bit, yeah. the worst feeling for a woman is that her husband or boyfriend is betraying her. It's Did awful. that happen to you? It's not too good um, for a man either. I'm a yeah. very jealous girl with my relationship. And I know exactly, you know, if your man betray you and you don't catch him, so it's okay because you don't, know. You're, you're, you don't, you don't get hurt. But I used to follow and to check him all the time, to look in his pocket. Did you? Yeah, all the time. I'm a very jealous girl and mm -hmm. I can understand her, but now I understand that she loved him because if you don't love your husband, you don't so you don't exactly. care if he betray you, you betray back and you know, it's, it's modern life. It's marriage isn't so... Precious. As a taboo as it used to be, and but if you love your boyfriend or your husband and he betrays you, it's the most terrifying feeling. It's disgusting. And what do you do? Do you scream? Are you a kind of a, sh a shrier? I throw my man at that specific minute. The minute I discover that he betrayed me, I throw him through out. all the stairs out. Really? Yeah. It becomes quite loud. You know, loud and fighting, and it can be a little bit violent, a little bit. But you know, as she said, trust is what it's all about. You know, leave husband and wife between, even be between friends. And if someone breaks your trust in him, so it's it's awful. It's disgusting. What about you, Julian? What? Are you very jealous? Jealous? Yeah. In your um, relationships. Uh, hmm. Most of the gays are. <laughs> yes, I go along with. With what you said. Do you check his well, pockets? Uh, no. No. What can you find? Yeah, what in can pockets, you find? Well, yeah. probably a credit well, card. Well, you can find, you know, sometimes card. a woman card, puts, yeah. a, puts mm -hmm. a, a little note with oh. their numbers, mm -hmm. and you can check, you can check the, the clothes, you know, sometimes lipstick See. stuck with it, mm -hmm. and many things. But, you know, just to make myself feel, feel relaxed, that nothing happens, and that's me. I don't know for other so I don't go people, people, but that's yeah. You don't? No. Because you, you, you do trust the person and you don't. Yeah. One, it, one, it is done. I mean, that's, I agree with you, but uh, I would not go behind my husband or boyfriend and, and, and sniff the clothes if uh, there's a fragrance or something like that. You know, I have a more confidence in and myself. And that's how you're surprised. Yeah. You'll be surprised. It's, 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 it's 
I'm sorry, Julian. Jump in when you want. It's all right. I might jump out in a second. <laughs> no. Are you Are you all right? I'm just having a little turn. I might uh, carry on there. No, no. I want to know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Really. A turn meaning a kind of a, do you not feel good? A kind of panic attack turn. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Can we talk about that a second? Okay. Okay. No, it'll bring it on. Okay. <laughs> Can I talk about it with Dana? I'll go and have one. No, no. Stay Stay it. here because I think we should fight through it. Do you? It's a weird thing that um, you know panic attacks. Um, because I have them on airplanes, so I know what he's going through. And how do you get out of a panic attack, or do you just have to sort of live through it and then it, you come out the other end? You can talk yourself out of it sometimes, sometimes you can't. Right, and how do you talk yourself out of it? Um, you control your breathing. We'll do it. Let's all breathe with Julian. Come on. To do shallow breathing. <laughs> no, no, I would think diaphragmatic breathing. Mm. I'm not sure what's the right thing to do. Well, I think big breaths. Come on. <laughs> Just breathe, I'll breathe with you. No, I, don't, I think the problem is when you're having a panic attack, you take in too much oxygen. So you need to not okay. take Can you ask him, even just uh, talk about it? Why, why are you panicking? Yeah. I don't know, it can happen any time. You know, because we are, you know, we are in here with friends. I mean, yes, we're being yes. televised, mm. but it's a very friendly show. We're talking about life in general. And There's nothing to worry about, nothing to, you know, nothing. Nobody's attacking anybody. Some of the shows I go on, some of the reporters are really very vicious. vicious. And you have to watch every word you're saying. In here, it's such a friendly atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. You should just relax. Yeah. Well, but panic attacks have nothing that. to do with the reality. No. It's something else, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, just. Did you ever get one during your show? Mm. Do you? Yeah. All well, the how time. do you deal with it now? You've really got, you know, a live audience. How do you deal with the panic attack? You just carry on. Is this on. real? It's real. The panic. Yeah. Mm. I've read that he has panic attacks, but I didn't but really know. He looks so calm, you know. I know, but that's really a front. You know that you're very cool because usually the coolest have the most. You want a cigarette? You want no, a cigarette? usually you want to you want to get away. Yeah. And and usually, um, I do, and probably I will. Mm -hmm. Right. I only only for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll but on your back. own show, what would you do? I mean, as I said, you work through it. Don't on a TV you? show. Yeah, this I'd is stop. a TV show. I know. I'd stop. And um, they'd have to stop filming. Mm, of course. Really? Mm. And what does the audience think? Because you know, you're supposed to kind of, as a comedian, your job is to create great joy and things. They don't. They don't want to know. Well, they just. Yeah, I mean, I could say I'm going off for any reason. Right. Just but you've done it. Oh yeah. Well, why don't we just go out a little bit and then we'll just <laughs> check in where you're at. Here. I'd feel better if I went off for okay. one minute. All right, go off. Short, yes. But I think breathe. Okay. <laughs> breathe deeply. I vote for deep. Do you vote for shallow? <laughs> Help me about it. Show us <laughs> fabulous. You look great. Yeah, we yeah. all look great. That's you all are very important. successful. You're fabulous. I'm very successful. I'm very successful. Say you're missing one, one person in here. I know, and nobody right. will be and able that, to tell. And who cares, no? We'll be okay, won't yeah. we? Mm. Dana's, Dana's going no, now. No, I'm surprised with you. You're so funny. Funny, just go and, Hello. you know, uh, be, 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 be friends with Don because you're a child together. We'll talk Stop about your life. Okay. okay. Were you good as an actor? Sort of. I was always more interested in what was going on in the, in the audience than what was going on on stage. And those lovely women who love you going through their handbags, because they kind of love you, don't they? These old, these kind of older ladies. So what you do? You go, you go through the handbag. He does go through. But you look, what do you look for? Um, well, I have been known. I don't always do it. Um, whatever's in there, you know, mm -hmm. it's always always quite interesting contents of people's handbags. Do you have a handbag here, Julian? You'd want to go through Ivana's. No, 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 no. Probably <laughs> very neat and tidy. No, but we'd like to see it. <laughs> no, no. Can you bring out Ivana's handbag? <laughs> Well, no, then you'll see what makes him okay. what he is. There it is. Let's guess, oh first of all, God. if it's a fake. It's a fake. It's a house of Ivana. It's a house of Ivana. Mm -hmm. I knew yeah. it was a fake, yeah. though. Is this is oh, um, yeah. from your... All right, go. Your well, get Let's just not read the telephone numbers, please. <laughs> don't read out the telephone numbers. He doesn't really do that. I have a lot of stuff out there. Oh, what is see, Ivana, look at that. It says Ivana. Where? There, there. that label. Oh, in case there. you forget who you are. All right. What's this? Well, check it out. Oh, I can't open it. Okay, okay. Oh, look, a colour yeah. for every month of the year. <laughs> That's right, too. Which but one are you I'm using the most, see? You're using this one or this one today? Mm -hmm. okay, oh, Ivana, surely a woman in your position. <laughs> the br the, the brush works perfectly. <laughs> it's a house of Ivana brush. <laughs> no, I don't see this. <laughs> That's no, a no, health Ivana. hazard, that okay, is. It's a health hazard. You need to get a better top. Uh, surely. We're I paying mean, her enough to yeah. get another top. Okay, no, but it will turn into upside down. It will work. Picture of a dowdy woman. Who's that? Um, there's an article in the Hello magazine. Yes. You know, which uh, I think she is now, she's, she's a, uh, a new Prime Minister of Ireland. Why did you cut it out? 
Why? Because I like the wallpaper behind The wallpaper. Me. And I'm doing this uh, at Border Hotel in, uh, in New York. <laughs> and Ivana I would like to have Ivana Sweets and I would like to have a little bit of the English. You're not going to nick it for House of Ivana, are you? No. House Ivana Sweets. Social Security. See? So I'm legal. Don't show me because we'll look at the date of birth and then she'll really be upset. <laughs> we keep that at, you don't? You don't mind people knowing how old you are? I'm 49 and very happy. <laughs> well, the rest is all makeup. See? I came on the show. And, uh, and 15 money. pounds. Oh, that is more than I Look trouble. at the first first, first there. I feel I know you much better now. See? <laughs> now he's happy. That's all he needed. Right? Right? He needed he but this is not this one. Huh? Get this brush. Do you want to get a, a cutlery in there? No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. Did you hate? Did you hate the fact that on that show they were asking you about your operation? No. Did you hate that? No. It doesn't bother you. No. Thank you. Do you know that? Um, I mean, what I loved, you said in an article that that's your gimmick. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. Do you know, like Madonna has her. Madonna gimmick. is a gimmick. Michael Jackson is a gimmick. Who said that the gimmick is? No. Is a is a negative thing? No. But what do you think it says about this age? Is finally, you know, a, because of full transvestite <laughs> is made it into kind of you know such headlines I think it's kind of really liberating well it's liberating but you need to have much more to offer besides of the date of the operation and people get to know it but uh, I don't care you know it's me I'm not going to run away from my presence it's what I'm doing it's how I live and it's natural, you know. It's people think, "Wow, sex operation! A man becomes a, a woman." It's so well, it big. is out of this world. I think it? it's much harder to do what she did with her life to build floors, to be a successful businesswoman. It takes much more. You need to be a, a lot smarter, you know. Anyone can change sex. Anybody can have their penis cut off for seven thousand yeah. pounds. <laughs> but in fact, I've never met anybody who did. Have you? Yes, I actually did. What is in the Milan? That is. Uh, that is. Uh, Men or women? She was a uh, singer also. Amanda, Amanda Lear. Lear. Yeah. Amanda, Lear. Amanda Lear. Yeah, Amanda. I love. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, and <laughs> she sings. I have the. I have the tapes. I just freaking up every time. I. I. You know. I, I listen to the music. It's fabulous. She was the first one, but I think she's very depressed. So the whole thing. I'm not sure. You know. I, I In those days, when Amanda Lear had it, was it yeah. easy to cut off the penis? It's for no 50 idea. years. For 50 years, yeah. but they, of course, it must be more I refined no, now. I have no idea. I, okay, this is something well, which I, I cannot know. even think about. But what is so courageous that you want to be yourself, you're enjoying yourself, you're not Men ashamed what you have done. Are depressed and and Why are they depressed? Do your how do your well, hormones react when you do have your penis cut off? I mean, your hormones after react after you have the surgery. You don't need any hormones, and you know, hormones disturbs your balance, and it's the way that you, you know, many people expect too much out of life. And once they don't get it, they are depressed. Mm -hmm. Expect a minimum. You think that's why trans um, people who've had the penis operation get depressed because of expectation? Yeah. Yes, of course. I would have thought it was hormones. I would have thought your body's raging around, going, "Which way am I going?" No, 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 no. It's. Do you it's have to take estrogen? What you are, you don't feel different before and after. You feel the same. It's, it's something private that you do to yourself in order to feel comfortable with your life. But if you think too much about I'm going to be this, I'm going to, to, to do that. Mm. If you put all your expectations about your new pussy, yeah. it's right. You're going to be But you're happy with it, aren't you? Yeah. You how, can tell. how quickly I don't after believe it took you to <laughs> Why? I don't know, it's just unbelievable. Is it upsetting for you? No, it's not upsetting at all. It's just so unusual for me. You know, you know <laughs> I'm the sure people it's not so, you know, so proper and so stiffy. But you, you know, know what you want to know. I, I, no, I'm open minded. This is why I just say I don't believe this. It's just it's just wonderful that we can talk about why it. Not? You know? Why not? Yeah, it's why not? Why not? And how so. long after, you know, the, the thing is done can you use for it? What do you mean? Uh, how, how long after you have the operation after can you have sex? Six months. Six months. Yeah, six and months. And then it works like it works for me. I mean, do you have I an orgasm? I don't know. I don't have what you have. But you have an <laughs> orgasm. Uh, yeah. You'd want to know that, Ivana. You'd ask that question if you had a talk show. Would I ask if she has orgasm? Yeah. I don't think I would. Many of them. <laughs> I've, no, I would say, are you enjoying your sex life? All right. Well, it's a yeah. different kind of get show. Around, yes. What you would know, you ask? You know, that's a direct. Yeah, and, you know, and direct. I would, I would, I would do a little bit more subtle way, I, I guess. That's why I have a talk show. On the end of the day, <laughs> the end of the day, you end up with the same answer. <laughs> you know? yeah. And you have a shopping channel. <laughs> it's true. I couldn't I can tell, tell you that one stuff. thing. I can tell you one thing. If, for myself, if I wouldn't have a wonderful sex, I would commit a suicide. 
because for me, sex, food and love are the most important things on earth. And throw everything yeah, sure. aside, you know. And food first to for me. do this kind of surgery and not enjoy it. So what's the point? How did you know it was going to work? Uh, that's <coughs> right. How about if it didn't work? Yeah, what if it didn't work? You take a risk. She said that she would go in. She would go. Yeah, you can always well. arrange a gun and to kill your doctor. No, no, but you know what I mean. I don't know. How do they do? They turn you inside out. I don't know what they do. You know, that's why they get the seven thousand pounds. And right. You don't want it like you don't want to have the home movies done. No. Yeah. Can, you, can you do something? If you, how would if you change your mind? So I would like to be a man That's again. the problem. Can yeah. you do that again? Can you, can you turn it never, 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 never. Because so that's what I'm saying. Woman, it's individual. Man, but you, you cannot come and can't back. come back cannot, again. Cannot, the woman cannot come a man. Never, 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 never. Did your mother come to the hospital? Oh, no, 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 no. How long it took you to decide on this? Four years. Did you Four shop longer. around to get the best size? No. Many girls have done this before, and it's not such a uh, difficult surgery. It's not a hard replace. So. Not uh, especially for you. They must be. Yeah, in London. On Harley Street. There's a whole. They're mm -hmm. very specialized, and it's only four mm -hmm. hours, and it's not so difficult as people think, you know. Four hours. Uh, four hours, and it's facelift time. <laughs> it's facelift time. And, yeah. and, and I, I'm, f I'm happy. I'm feeling great. I like it. Did your mother I come? I mean, or did no, your mother? I wouldn't let her come. You have a Jewish come. mother, isn't she going? Please, she's don't Jewish, check but she's Israeli also, yeah. and she's not, you know, the Jewish mother, the image of Jewish mother. She's Yemenite. She's not from uh, East Europe, so it's right. different. So it's okay. Um, I went along with a friend of mine, and it's not, it's a week, which you really don't like because you lie mm. on a bed and you're feeling so bad. You're being drugged, so it's not pain, and you just want the six months to pass by and. You wake up your eyes and I'm a new person now. But you don't change. You have the same mind, the same body, the same personality. Oh, sure. It's just, for me, a small detail that needs to be. If you don't like something, the way you don't like something, just have it lifted or have it done. I mean, that's a very un-English well, way of looking at some, it. See, English are totally fascinated by plastic surgery. Totally fascinated. Everybody is asking. They, they think, oh, wow, 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 wow. But they have surgery. it done. You know, I mean, there are doctors the, the we could list here. I mean, in America, it's a way for life. Everybody I, I believe, has I believe that if you have something, for example, you did not like something about you, you change it. Let's say you did a little bit drastic way, but you are happy with it. You know, some people, they have, let's say, they have a big nose and it drives them crazy all their lives they're insecure they have no confidence in themselves whatever it might be because whatever feature they have if that you can go and if you can change that you are like you said you get the confidence you're totally new person yeah, that's i think go for it yeah you know and 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 uh, every time i come in here everybody's like wow plastic surgery i mean it has been done so many times but were so, you much so happier when you had, I it had for my father he had a dark circus under the eyes and it's an inheritance you cannot do anything about it and unless you do something about it, and it is like a one hour, and it just lifts it up and it takes all the dark circles. Am I saying that I have done? Absolutely. Am I? I'm absolutely not ashamed. No, and then the different things is they like fall, like here. You you, that surgery. has to go. I, I mean, as things fall, you're going to have to yeah. move it. Well, but not necessarily. See, some people, it is important for them. For some people, it's it important is not. for you, I would think, and it's I important like for me. I like to look good for my age all the time. I like yeah. to look good. Why I like not? to feel good yeah. about myself. Who's knocking but it? But some people, it's not important. Some people are the crawl by the fireplace and read a book and that's okay with me too. It yeah. depends who you are and what you want. Yeah. You know? So, you know, whatever is good for me, if why you not start be good to for sag, If you start to get shadows, which, which you would if you left everything mm -hmm. alone, do you think you'd sell as much? I mean, your image is this kind of, you know, it's the perfect face. And I'm serious. Do you think there's a kind of thing that when the woman Absolutely. starts to age, mm -hmm. Well, she's out of movies, I'll tell you that much. You won't have such a high status. No, I don't think it's so. No, oh, come I on, if I'm to be honest. No. Who's an old I face have, on American look, television? Look at Joan, Co Joan, uh, Joan Rivers. And what has she Joan had Rivers. done? She's selling like crazy on yeah. television. And she started surgery when she came out of the womb. Well, she's not exactly beauty. Yeah, yeah but you need to do it in a fine way, you know, I, so people cannot tell. You, you know? can age on. I, you cannot sell. tell that she, you don't see plastic. That's a good surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes if you look at Michael Jackson, you'll be it's horrified. So, my God. Yeah. But he went too far. I mean, that's the way the world is. Yeah. It is the way the world is. They don't want to see some man in an Israeli uniform but you know what singing I'm diva. They want to see this goddess. I mean, they do. Well, you did it for personal reasons, but, you know, image is image is image. But I'm glad that you go to the right sources because I tell you, you know, you went to Los Angeles and, and there the doctors are the best because they're doing it all, every starlet, every movie, every girl, you everybody. know, every, you know, playboy, pinup girl, she goes, and every, so they're doing it daily, you know, operation after operation, they are professionals. 
you go and you go and off. you go to some of the you know you go somewhere but it's very and they do it once a year the limit and yeah and and you can get in trouble so you go and if you do something like that you have to go to the best well after the show i'm going to get a list from you and tell you my <laughs> references and then i just want to double check uh, okay uh, you know i really don't know that many but steven is a friend of my personal friend of mine but i will check them out for you all right because i have all my friends thank god i got something out of this <laughs> can i just ask you one more thing because I just I knew there was a story when you were in the Israeli army, or you were supposed to be conscripted, I wasn't. or they wanted you for the Israeli army. They want everyone. I know they want everybody, um, and that you got out of it. But I don't know how you got out of it. Well, it took me three years because I had great grades at school, so they planned things for me, and they didn't know who was behind the, this, those good grades. <laughs> so I was trying to not to avoid this service and I didn't went they sent you a document files and you need to go to the base by your own uh, you have to to be there so I didn't went there and someday a police uh, military car came and grabbed me and they put me really in if you don't show up you can't yeah, go they come and take you wow yeah. so but it's not uh, something but you know they, they put you in the inner base near Tel Aviv and I opened the window, you know, go ahead, <laughs> catch a bus, <laughs> go back to so Tel Aviv. They, but that's funny. at 1990, I wanted to go to Europe to visit, to start with everything because it was much more easier to do it in Germany. And I needed this piece of document for to, in order that I can be out of Israel. And I had only five days, and it takes you about one month until you receive this document. I said, no, they are not going to do with me. So I drove by myself. Sorry, to the to, to the base, and there was a special committee, and they told me, well, don't don't ever think that if you are homosexual, we're going to let you out of the army. <laughs> I said, I'm okay, you have one little mistake. I'm not a homosexual. I'm a transsexual, but I don't want to get out of the army. I'm just here to ask you if I can do military service as a transsexual. <laughs> <laughs> and they thought I was serious. No, I was doing psychology on them. And they thought I was so serious. And they said, no, 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 we don't want, we don't need. And after five minutes, they stamped on this special document, and I was wow. going back to Tel Aviv. How did they believe that you were trans transsexual? They could tell. Oh, you should. <laughs> <laughs> did you tip forward? <laughs> no, they could tell. It was were they laughing? Well, I have another uh, funny story, you know. There is a different base for <laughs> assets shortly. A there is a different in the, in the army. In the army. There, is a <laughs> there is a different <laughs> base for girls problem. and different base for women, for oh, boys. Nice. So I went for the boys camp and I'm saying just the truth and they tell me, no, it's not this base, it's the other base. And I didn't and I hadn't got the idea that they are sending me for the girls' base. <laughs> and I went to the girls' base, I show my ID and they told me, What are you doing here? This is the girls' base, go to the men's base. <laughs> and I was so it was so funny. Were you know? wearing lipstick? No, nothing. Long hair, you right. know. CC. But would you have gone into the army if they said, okay, we'll take your breasts and all? Would, would you have gone to yes, fight for Israel? Of course. Yeah, you, you don't fight. Not any soldier fights. They, they're not going to, to give me an Uzi and send me to Lebanon or you something. Get I know, you but get I had the image. You, you get a good yeah, workout in the, the morning, okay? Bad, That's a good you know, for going you, get a, you get a good workout in the morning, okay? You don't know, push up. To even, cook, and you, know, you have, you have your five pegs, okay? But you believe in this discipline thing. I mean, I that's, you're really passionate about it. I thought of something. Are you doing this with your children? Do you make them get up in the morning and make their bed and do you run a little boot camp? I am, I have a Spartan. I, I educated my children in a certain way, yes. They, you mean, they, so you, do, you deny them certain things? <clears throat> I do, they, they have to go, they have to, of course, they have to work for everything they have. You know, they, they, you know, if I go, I just don't buy them bicycle. They work for the bicycle. I don't go and Working is what? They were working different errands. They have to do certain things. They have to do certain things around the house for me, for other people and stuff like the charity, whatever it might be. They just don't get, you know, Ivanka comes to me and says, I want bike. It won't happen. Do you get her up at six in the morning? Not at six o'clock in the morning, but she gets up at, let's say, eight or, or nine and we go and ex exercise together. And she loves it. She doesn't mind. She doesn't? Know? What if you had and a child who said, uh-uh, I'm not doing this? Well, you know, you don't. You're not nasty. I mean, if she's on vacation, yeah. you know, I know that's good for her. She will love it, you know, and she can go and sometimes sleep if she wants to sleep. But uh, normally, during the year, I mean, there is a different, there is a discipline. She's in a boarding school. And, so you're a good mother. Uh, Do you think she's a good mother? Sounds like it. <laughs> so loving, loving, but fun. Are you envious of the fact that Ivana really, like, lives a disciplined life? I'm envious of your energy. Obviously, you have lots of energy to I do have all this. I'm very lucky on that. Control. I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, God, sometimes. You know, I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you want to achieve? What do I want to achieve? Oh, um, I don't know, all kinds of things. Um, just to kind of get through, in, enjoy myself, get through life, and um, carry on working, really. And do you enjoy yourself? Mm, I do. 
but I don't have a kind of diary of things laid out that uh, you know, I, I will do this and then I will do that. Quite like kind of going with the flow and seeing which what I feel like doing. Are you happy? Most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm not the first person to say that there's like real sadness about you. I know that you hear that from other people. Mm -hmm. no. Don't you feel he's sad? Um, not sad as a person. I mean, kind of gorgeous and you know, I elegant. But there's a real sad little aura around you. I think it's more shy. I shy. think you, you're more shy. And you are, you know, you're comedian. You're not supposed to. But I think as a private person, you're quite shy. Mm. What well, do you think of him? Lots of comedians are a bit. Yeah. Well, wow. mm -hmm. how old are you, from Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine? You look like a baby. Wow. <laughs> you see, that well, explains the whole thing. But his eyes are that old. That explains the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I can tell I'm not a fortune teller or something. God. <laughs> but I can tell that he suffered. And I don't mean I don't know if it's physically or mentally, but he suffered in his life, and it's like he's keeping on living, 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 little, little, little. And, and I'm, I'm just guessing <laughs> why, he, why he looks at me. And little bit, you know, desperate, I can tell. It's like Gypsy Rose Lee, isn't it? <laughs> Ruby's guests tomorrow include Richard Wilson and P.D. James at the same time, 11.15, BBC Two.